Today is Tuesday. That means we get new content, and there isn't that much content. It's one of the drier Tuesdays, but at least we got something. Last Tuesday, we didn't even get Diamond Duos, which was annoying. But regardless, we have new content, even though there's not much. But let's go over it. As always, let's look at the calendar. So today is June 27th. We have a new Pirates uniform. So we have a new City Connect Conquest map. I know, so exciting. And then we also have a new Diamond Duos pack, which is arguably the best one. I don't want to declare it the best, the best one like right now, but has two really good cards. On Friday, the charity pack for the Negro Leagues Baseball Museum will go away. Also, as a no money spent player myself, the no money spent community has declared that it, it, it doesn't count. So you can buy it and still be consider yourself no money spent because it goes to a great cause and 100% of the proceeds go to it. It's not like SDS is taking the money from it. But yeah, so that's going away on Friday. And then also on Friday, we finally get another roster update. I mean, it has been a long four weeks, man, of just investing, getting frustrated of other investments falling through, uh, you know, but we're finally getting another roster update on Friday. If you guys did not see yesterday, I posted my attribute upgrade predictions or not necessarily upgrade predictions, but investment advice. So make sure you guys go check that video out. And then we also have a moonshot event on Friday with tops now and then we have a double xp weekend to cap off season two because the following friday on july 7th we are going to be getting season two which is or season three which is all stars which was confirmed via a survey in the companion in the companion app i know i'm kind of rambling on here but make sure you guys also do that survey that survey in the companion app holy english let's get into the new content as stated earlier we have another new city connect conquest and I mean, literally who cares? I'll, I'll show you guys because it's new content. It is the Pittsburgh Pirates. The jerseys are kind of meh. I, I'm not a huge fan of them. Uh, I don't, PGH, I don't think of PGH when I think of Pittsburgh. I think of PIT. Uh, I don't know if that's what their actual symbol is or acronym is for their city. I'm not from Pittsburgh, obviously. I'm not near, or I'm not around there, but regardless, this is the conquest map. As always, you complete the whole map and you get the uniform. You have to play the Pirates, Cardinals, the Padres, and the Reds. It's just four quick three inning games. Now for the good stuff, we have a new diamond duo today. And yes, you, this card is, is real. I am so shocked that they gave us this card. Now look, SDS has not failed to give us good content in MLB The Shows. But the game has been kind of stale lately. Near the end of seasons, it gets really boring, aka right now. This at least adds a little excitement. I know he's in packs, but you, you can buy them on the market with stubs that you make from playing the game. But regardless, looking at this Kyle Schorber card, he is insane. He's a left fielder primary, 111, 100 contact, 125 for both powers, has 100 vision, 125 discipline, so he's going to get all the check swings. He's going to get all the foul balls. 113 clutch. That's higher than both contacts. Defense. 71 fielding is silver with 81 arm strength, 73 arm accuracy, and 68 reaction with not good enough speed for the outfield. So with this Kyle Schorber card, I would recommend you guys put him at either designated hitter or catcher. Yes, they gave Kyle Schwarber the catcher secondary. I didn't think they would. Just because with Kaiju cards, it's kind of just like their current live series card, but with just boosted attributes and his current live series card doesn't have catcher. But anyway, really sick to see this card have catcher. I really want to put him at catcher. It, 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 like Mike Napoli has been very good, but this card is insane. The second of the two diamond duos today is Walker Bueller Butani. I, I, Butane, maybe Butane. But he, of course, is a 99 overall because it's Diamond Duos. He has a four-seam cutter, slider, knuckle curve, circle change. So that's a good pitch mix. Could be a little better, but that's still very good. The speed differentials are there. 97, 93, 86, 81, 88. I mean, this card is really good as well. He's just not going to get as much spotlight because the other card is Kyle Schwarber. 110 stamina. 
really good. 109, 100 for both per nines, really good. The control, really, okay, not really good, but very good. The break, oh my god, 99 for everything except the circle change. So honestly, all four pitches are really good except for the circle change. Just don't use the circle change that much with this card every once in a while. And you will do very good. You will do very well with this card. And with 121 pitch and clutch, helps him out even more for the hits per nine versus, or the hits per nine versus righties, for the 109 hits per nine. So looking at the prices, Walker Buehler is around 70 to 80K, and then Kyle Schwarber is in the 140 to 150. Obviously these just came out. It's literally 307 as I'm talking right now. So they're gonna drop in price, but as of now they're very good cards. If we go to my packs, I don't have too many packs. I obviously don't have any Diamond Duo packs. Don't buy them, they're so not worth it. They're the biggest scam ever. I have 25 Kaiju Takeover packs. Would not mind pulling one of those 99s from the Kaiju Takeovers. But we also have four Ballins and two Diamond Duos. Obviously got all these by just playing the game. Let's open them. So with the amount of packs that I have, I would be happy with one Diamond. I know, I'm not, not really expecting that much, but Look, I would at least like a diamond, you know, I would also like a diamond named Kyle Schwarber, that is a kaiju card, would also love that, even though I'm, I'm not buying, maybe I'll buy one diamond duo pack, you know what, screw it, just because they're really good this one time, I'll buy one pack, again, especially if you're no money spent, do not buy packs, I'm just doing it, like, not that often, I don't know why I can't speak English in this video, if you guys have noticed, but, Regardless, I bought one Diamond Duo pack. Hopefully, we can pull Kyle Schwarber or at least Walker Bueller. But yeah, regardless, I would. If I don't pull a Diamond out of these packs, I would be pretty annoyed. 10 more show packs to go, or technically Kaiju Takeover show packs. I think that the Kaiju Takeover thing was pretty cool. It's just something new, which is nice. It's something new to the pack store. It's not the same old Diamond Duos. It's not the same old uh, special packs where. You have the base tier, and then you have three rare tier cards. I don't know, it's kind of getting repetitive, like, you know, better than nothing for sure. But it's just a nice little switch up. Last show pack got a gold Kenley Jansen, so 25 show packs didn't pull a diamond. You know, obviously makes sense. Four Ballins would like to pull a diamond out of this. And two golds. Who was that first gold? Ozzy Albies. Okay, adds to my investment. I'll take that. Speaking of investments, I know I already said it, but go check out my video that I posted yesterday. There's another one, Corey Seager. Last ball and pack. Diamond. Nope. No diamonds. All right. Two pack 14s. And this is a good one with Bryce Harper and Yuri Perez. So hopefully we pull one of them. No, not even a gold. And then the last diamond duo pack for pack 14. Again, not even a gold. Sweet. All right, pack 24. They're still going for basically the same price that I said earlier. At, at least give me a diamond, please. Diamond. 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 No, of course not. That, ladies and gentlemen, is why you don't buy packs. Just lost like 7,000 stubs. But regardless, I, I, I am only doing it for you guys for the videos. But anyway, that's going to be it for this video. If you guys are new here, follow me on all my social medias, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. But most importantly, make sure you're subscribed right here on YouTube. So yeah, see you guys in the next one. Peace.